Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. It's time to look at what's trending on the news. And today we're giving you an update on the former National Security Advisor, Colonel Sombo Dasuki, and the fact that the court has granted him bail. Now, this comes over a year after an order was given that he be released illegally, an order that was um, disobeyed by the DSS. One year exactly, one year and nine months after the Economic Community of West African States Court of Justice on the 4th of October 2016 ordered his release from illegal custody, a judgment which the DSS has not obeyed. Now the update we have is that the Federal High Court on Monday granted bail to him uh, from the custody of the DSS where he had been detained for uh, for a while. Now, delivering judgment in the suits filed by the ex-NSA in March this year, Justice Ijama Ojuku ruled that his detention since December 2019, 2015 amounted to a violation of his right to liberty. The judge who rejected the ex-NSA's prayer for 5 billion naira damages granted him bail in the sum of 200 million naira with two shorties who must either be a civil servant of grade level 16 at the minimum in the Federal Civil Service or private citizens who have landed properties in the municipal areas of Abuja. Now, Leila, mm. we've had this conversation over and again yeah. as to the fact that he was held down by the DSS. Now, the ECOWAS court had given a ruling that he be released from illegal custody. And now, the argument has been to release him or not to release him. More people leaning in the favor of the fact that, yes, he committed a crime, allow him to have his day in court rather than holding him down. Because at the end of the day, what we do not want to do is to make the people feel like they can't trust the fact that those are the helm of affairs, our governments, you know, those are at the top helm of affairs mm. or at the top cadre of power will not be subject to the rulings of the court. Absolutely. We definitely need to see more structure in our judicial system because at the end of the day, to hold somebody for so long when you're not putting that person in front of the court is going to have a liability both on the court and on that person. So if you know that you want to bring this person forward, we need to find ways and schemes and mechanisms to start ensuring that we are not holding back on cases and we are making sure that anything that requires accountability and responsibility to a certain degree is brought before the courts. Nobody needs to wait 10 years. Nobody needs to wait five years. Let's sort this and let's sort this now. But you're the lawyer, which is why I even wanted to ask you something. What exactly is the issue? Is it that we don't have enough people in terms of supreme rulings in Nigeria or... No, with regards, yes, we know that we, we really don't have a lot mm. of judges and justices, which is why the National Assembly a few weeks ago were advocating for an increase in the number yeah. of judges we have to ex, um, to increase PD dispensation of justice. We also know that we don't have enough cells and prisons, but the fact is not what the law is. More importantly, the application of the law is what the problem is. Absolutely. Now, we understand that the supremacy of law, according to A.V. Dicey, the rule of law, according to A.V. Dicey, propagates for the supremacy of law over the rulers and the rule. So you can't say that there are exceptions to this things. If an ordinary everyday man can have his day, as much as I do not mm -hmm. advocate for what Colonel Sam Sambo Dasuki did, yeah. what he did was absolutely wrong. You know, at the end of the day, he endangered the lives of th mm -hmm. tons of Nigeria, thousands of Nigerians. Our military personnel, who should have been in the forefront absolutely. fighting to protect the peace of Nigeria, were endangered because the money that was supposed to be used for the equipment mm -hmm. and ammunition was, was swiped through by exactly. him. Exactly. Yeah. So, which, which led us to the Dasuki gate. So, we're not exonerating him for what he did, but what we're saying is, let him have his day Exactly. In court. At the end of the day, when we see that we're having more people having their day in court, when we see that more people are being tried and more big fishes, quote unquote, are being thrown behind bars, it will set a judicial precedent for people coming to know that you can't just go into power, squander money and get away with it. Absolutely. So, so and so person has been arrested and thrown behind bars. If you go and do the same thing, you have your own day in court as well. Exactly. And when you strengthen your judicial system, you are strengthening security in your country as a whole. It's not, it's not even really about using people as examples or whistleblowing them and putting one person forward, but it's about showing that we have a system that works and not a system that's failed. And until the justice system actually steps up and makes sure that that is consistent. You know, we've been seeing a lot that's been great lately. I cannot remember the name of her off the top of my head, but our female judge at the Supreme... Banjoko. There we go. Yeah. That is it. Justice She's Banjoko. She's not referred to as 14, 14 judge. Yeah, you know. Because she's granted exactly. 14 years consent. And that is yeah. restoration of confidence. People are reading reports that are coming out about what she is doing and ensuring for the rights of us as citizens, and people are restoring their confidence. When we see more of that happening, I am pretty sure that Nigeria will become safer overall because less people will feel perpetrated to step forward in terms of certain acts, and people will also know that, yes, you will be held accountable and responsible. So like you mentioned, um, security is one of the big, big pillars mm. of... Of, of having our peace being settled. Now, if we want to see people going to court to have their day in court, we just don't want to see them starting the case, and after a while, the case is swept under the carpet. We want to see cases starting from inception. We want to see them go through their trial, go through the process in court. We want to see that the judgment is delivered. 
and that justice will be seen to be done manifestly by all. Absolutely. Not just a select few thinking. You know, Chukudi gave us statistics the other day of how many cases made it to court and how many big fishes were allegedly indicted. We found that there were more cases of the ordinary man than the influential people going behind bars. So we need to let people know, we need to let the country know that nobody is beyond the treatment of justice that if you do wrong you will get your treatment you have your day in court and if your punishment is to go behind bars there is no special treatment for anybody absolutely. until we get to that point we have a very long way to go absolutely i couldn't have said it better myself let's to enjoy more of this our will get videos when you just watch press this button to subscribe on top of our youtube page you go love her